Hey everybody, Jeremy Redman here, founder of Task Magic. Uh, we had I, I wanted to make a, a bumper to this quick video, and I wanted to show you how cool and an amazing use case Task Magic is in automating your flows with uh, AI prompt engines like Gemini or ChatGPT. You can automate your entire flow, and in this video, we show you what a, a customer runs through taking a screenshot of a website automatically it navigate it prompt it prompts us it navigates to this to the url that they enter in there screenshots it then uploads that screenshot to gemini in this case i do believe correct kyle yeah okay and then or you can also do this with chat gpt and any other prompts tr prompt engines but and then it makes decisions based on what it sees in the screenshot, and this is all automated. Any color or context to that before we see the video, Kyle? Yeah, so he trained his Gemini, I don't know what it's called for Gemini, their Gemini conversation that bot on looking at the screenshot of a website, yep. which takes the like entire uh, entire site screenshot. He determines if that, if that SaaS product is offering demos or free trials because if it's a demo, it's not good for his services. If they're free trials, it's a great fit for his services. So that's his lead gen uh, filtering right there. Literally for lead gen, that is a uh, Thanks, Kyle. That is an insane way to generate leads based on something visual that you see. Uh, and you can set up as many conditional f filters and formatting as you want, but simple but beautiful and elegant flow. Great work. Uh, thank you so much. Check it out. Can you go through, I guess, what you're trying to do here? Um, and then we can go through the automation as well. This, so these are my filters. It's like people in AI software um, with one to 10 employees, certain date range um, with uh, a certain amount of web traffic every every month. So so this is this is my process, okay? Typically, I would click on this, right? And when I get here, I'll be looking for the words try it free and pricing and no demo. Like if it doesn't say demo anywhere. So really, you're just looking for SaaS products that are not demo to get started is what it looks like. Pretty much. Yeah, because um, I do like churn. So typically things that have like demos and stuff, typically uh, it's because they do demos to to onboard people nine times out of ten they also have like customer success teams for if you cancel and all that stuff right right so, so yeah so i would typically come on this page look at pricing if it has pricing and try it for free they're probably optimizing for growth and they don't have demos which is like perfect for me okay and i'll come back here if that matches and i'll press this and i'll save it to the list that says companies that actually match so what this automation does is it goes on the websites and it sends a screenshot of it to Gemini so that Gemini could analyze whether the site has the words free trial, pricing, and demo. If it has the word demo, it's instantly a bad match. If it has free trial and pricing without demo, it's a good match. Uh, if it has the word get the app or download the app, it becomes an ambiguous match because... Nine times out of 10, app websites do not have the words, do not have pricing and free trial and all down their website. So then here goes the automation. So there were two different automations I think you had made, right? It was one of them was scraping Crunchbase. So with this one, I would go to the page and then I would scrape the list. Then I would scrape the links. So this one basically runs through and copies everything and pastes it on in a Google Sheet. And then this one is the one that you have that goes over all of those? Yes. So so then let's go through this, for example. Paste that. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So then this is the website that you're screenshotting to try finding out if they have demos, free trial, pricing, anything like that. Exactly. And this website should normally come up as an ambiguous or bad match just because it doesn't have the word pricing at the top. Got it. So then it uploaded, then it typed this one, and then it's gonna send it. Okay, so now it's set. Then I have a 30 second delay, just so that it gives Gemini a chance to come up with 
the answer. Okay, so as you can see, it's scraped the the stuff like based on the screenshot you sent. It's a bad match, and it probably just found out that it is a bad match. Uh, and so I have a filter that sends it to delay, and then the next loop. Can we yeah. can we look at those steps really quick on the right also, just to cool. kind of see the logic if you scroll down there? Uh, I believe yeah, it's this one right here. Okay, so it went to the website, took a picture. Uh, it changed the URL, then uploaded the file uh, and typed this one. Perfect. Sent it, you know, clicked, sent it, and yeah, then it scraped the, the result, right? And obviously, there's the word bad match here. So mm -hmm. in the filter, it was looking for the condition of the word bad match, and it found that that was true. Cool. And then if it was a good match or if the condition wasn't met, you have a bunch of steps that go through the process of like adding it to your crunch base list that basically validates that person as a lead. Exactly. So uh, if the conditions were met, it would add them to a list, uh, which I typically manually check later um, because I use that list to figure out what to text or email the person. So I don't automate my message to the people, but I definitely automate. Uh, and automating 50% of it is automating plus. This is great then. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think, I think we, this finally. <laughs> <laughs> there we go.